What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If you are looking to add inches to your vertical, you are in the right spot. This is a video that I've been very, very excited to make for a long time. Uh, this cycle that I'm currently doing is called an elastic cycle. Of course, we start every single workout with a dynamic warm up, especially if you're going to be jumping. I choose to do a dynamic warm up like the one you're seeing instead of a barbell warm up. And a little bit about the elastic cycle during an elastic cycle you are going to be seeing the highest peak forces out of any training cycle that you do the other three types of training cycles would be a max strength cycle then there would be a power cycle and you can also do a hypertrophy cycle uh, and in an elastic cycle again is where you're going to see the highest peak forces if you could put it on a graph and see how much force your body is generating this is where you're going to see the highest ones an elastic cycle is specifically training something called the stretch shortening cycle, which is the cyclic loading and unloading of the musculotendinous unit that ends up augmenting force production. Now, musculotendinous might seem like a complicated word, but it's not if you break it down. It's just your muscle connected to the tendon connected to the bone. And the tendons are really important when jumping. It's the reason why a power lifter might be extremely freaking strong, but they can't jump high. Um, it's because the musculotendinous unit is really important in augmenting the force production. So if you can squat 400, but you have a crap stretch shortening cycle, right? Your tendons aren't good at augmenting force production. You're only going to be able to augment a little bit of that force that you can produce versus if you have somebody that's really wired, has uh, really good tendons that can augment force production, they're going to be able to use way more of their leg strength in order to jump high. A really important property that tendons have is they can coil and uncoil. And the types of exercises that you see in an elastic cycle are meant to overload those systems. Another big part of the stretch shortening cycle that we train in an elastic cycle are eccentric muscle contractions. Eccentric muscle contractions stop you from moving downwards and allows you to go upwards if you're a good athlete really high in the air. Uh, and depth jumps are really good at training this. Same with any exercise that includes a very fast drop. And you can see that in the squats that I'm doing right here, uh, the focus is on dropping fast to overload that eccentric muscle contraction. And you're also going to see it in the exercises that I show later in the video. We're just focusing on dropping the weight very, very fast. Also, as you can see, I am doing quarter squats. Now, if you've been watching my channel in previous videos, you know that I deep squat a lot. Uh, and you might be wondering why, why on earth am I doing quarter squats? The reason is because uh, throughout all the training cycles, we move from general to specific. And if you look at a two foot jump, that you are in a very high partial range of motion squat. You're not jumping from a deep squat position. Um, so something that, uh, we like to say at THP is we train to train this cycle right here in elastic cycle is literally what you are training for when you are doing max strength, hypertrophy phases, power cycles, you are training in order to train for this cycle right here, because this is what actually makes you jump higher. A lot of people have this misconception that, uh, you ha just have to deep squat and lift heavy all the freaking time. Uh, but that's not the stuff that makes you jump high. That's what allows you to build a good enough base to then take advantage of this type of training. Um, and if you don't build a big enough base, if you don't spend enough time doing the max strength work, hypertrophy power work, you're not going to get anything out of this. And as a matter of fact, you might end up getting hurt. And that's a really common mistake I see people making all the time is they see all these athletes on like TikTok, Instagram, doing depth jumps, weighted jumps and stuff like that. And then they go out and do that stuff. You're not going to get anything out of it unless, of course, you are untrained. If you've never done anything, doing anything is going to help you. If you've never done anything to train, just you can jog every day and your vert is going to go up. But if you're a, if you have like some training age, right, if you have some training under your belt and you just try to jump straight into this type of training, you're not going to get anything out of it. So make sure to build that base of strength first and move through some proper training before you try an elastic cycle. But like I was saying, uh, the reason I'm doing quarter squats, it's because it is a more specific uh, angle to a two foot jump. Uh, now, a quarter squat might be a little bit too high for a two foot jump, but we are experimenting to see what happens to my vertical with quarter squats. 
something more specific would be a half squat which uh the other workout that i do during elastic cycle uses half squats but if you're a one foot jumper quarter squats are really really good uh for a one foot jump now remember the law of specificity i preach that so much um but if you want to get good at something make sure to do that thing a lot if you want to get better at jumping jump a lot and then any exercise that mimics that activity the most is also going to have the most transfer so a quarter squat is going to transfer more to a one foot jump than a deep squat in an elastic cycle we also see lighter weights it is because we focus on speed strength the main difference between an elastic cycle and a power cycle is in a power cycle you see strength speed the elastic cycle is speed strength so it's lighter weights and we're just moving them faster but guys, if you have any questions regarding this stuff, leave them in the comments down below. Me and John Evans are going to go through all the comments and answer them to the best of our abilities. And I know this is a lot of information to throw at you all at once, but watch the video multiple times, add it to your favorites and take notes on it. And if you're interested in having me and John coach you guys personally, just watch this clip right here. If you are an athlete that is looking to add inches to their vertical, our coaching is gonna help you add at least three inches of vertical in the next six months. And if not, we're going to train you for free until you do. The reason we're so confident in making this guarantee is because based on polls we just took, the average athlete on THP gains four inches of vertical in six months and one in five athletes gain at least seven inches of vertical, which is insane. If you wanna see if you qualify for our coaching, just click the link in the description and fill out the application and we'll get back to you if you're a good fit. Now let's get back to the video.